every other possible kind of candy. I'm like, I'm all about. Good morning, it's the Todd and Aaron morning stream here on GetBarDaily.com. This is a magnificent morning. It's also 14 degrees, which is cold. So just remember that. Only if you're watching on February 21st at 7.01. All right, thank you for clarifying. All right, look at this. Don't forget, Valentine's chocolates are on sale. Look for the big cards full of sort of chocolate. It's chocolate light. You know what? I just waited for at the day after so I could go buy all the flowers. But I had forgotten that because our nanny said, yeah, but you wait for after Valentine's Day to buy the chocolate. And I'm like, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, but it's not real chocolate. Well, I don't like chocolate, which, as I was just telling our friend Mike, is yes. the only reason I still fit through a door because right. that's the only candy I, you I don't lost love. Your, you lost your woman card, too. I'm sorry, it's the only... No, no, salted caramel still puts me in the mix. I'm okay. Let's go to the Morning Mountain Cam. It's brought Look to you by Brio Technologies. That is gorgeous. Brio Technologies are experts in lighting, sound, and video. Go to brioaudiovisual.com. This is actually sort of looking like winter. Now it can go away again. We've seen it. I'm fine. Just you can Yes, we appreciate it so much. Stop mm -hmm. it. Um, the, the Olympics. Vaughn, I'm so happy about her. Okay, I find this incredibly entertaining that both the best and the worst of the Olympics this year are from Utah. Why is it the worst? Lindsay Vaughn. Yes. Amazing. She got a, she got a bronze. I mean, she, this, this woman is a rock star, and we've talked about before about she's had two career-ending injuries that she fought back from, and that she's beautiful and resilient and amazing. And she's uh, almost retirement age uh, in skiing because she's 29. And this is a big deal because, I mean, the U.S. is not doing as great as we hoped this year. Let's just, we wanted to do better, but everyone's busting their hearts out, and she got a bronze, and she's amazing, That's and she's a goddess. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. But here's the one that I, I can't. What is the help worst? not kind of love her what? Elizabeth Swanee now she yeah. she has a background uh, international background but she lives here in Utah okay now she reminds me a lot of Eddie the Eagle what because does she do? Of, because of the heart now Eddie the Eagle if you haven't seen the movie this is the British guy who was bound and determined to be in the Olympics he's the only one who qualified he's a, he's a Brit middle class guy <laughs> ridiculously thick glasses no one knows how he even got the money because it's always a very well bred sport and you no, ride no. horses in the summer and no then you ski in the winter no sponsors nothing and, and did it and he did it and he did he ended up in ski jumps and he did one and it was great and the people said well you're not real because you didn't do the next and so he went I'm going to do the next and everyone remember it, so, they're just like just live that is all we're just they just, just wanted him to, to make a landing that's, that's all. all they wanted it doesn't even matter it's like you know when you see him and the guys go all the way down to the bottom and remember those green uh, boughs they put out so they can have death perception he didn't have to worry about that because he came down off the jump and it was like whoop bunk <sighs> It was, but you know what? He was a hero. Well, this. Uh, oh, make, I, Elizabeth, say this. I love Britain, because Britain didn't have a jumping team at all. He, he was, was it. it. Yeah. Okay, right, Elizabeth Swanee's for here from Utah. Okay, sorry. I'm the sorry. girl's got a dream. She's got a dream. The girl's got a dream. And now she has an international background. I believe it's Hungary. I think she's with the Hungary team. Right. Um, she went and did the half pipe yesterday. She went on oh. to the half pipe. Went up. Oh. And the commentators are going, oh, okay, and maybe she'll be executing the uh, are you three quarter. So she just very carefully whoosh, 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 boop, and then got off and left, and she went, thank you. Not a single trick, not a single flip, not a single anything. That is hilarious. She just very carefully did it so that she could go and get all the way off, and she had done her run. She finished dead last, but she was in the Olympics. She made the landing. She had worked very hard, right? And she made the landing. So yeah, she's not an, an you know she's not one of these genetically designed you know monsters who's great at it. But this was her her little dream. Well, first of and all, and I kind of love her. I, I can't she, help is it. She, is she representing the U.S.? No, I believe she's Hungary. I think okay. she got through Hungary. I think right. that's how she but, got it. And just the fact that her, she made it down. Here's the pipe. Okay. It so is not an easy here, run. Here's the pipe, and the the borders go up like this, and they go up like this. Twist, 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 25, twist, twist, twist. Twenty five feet. Yeah. Well, if they screw up. They drop 25 feet, and they drop another 21 feet. So you're going to fall from 50-plus feet. And let's, not 50, and she my did math a, is she horrible. She did a very nice little scoop, you know, where maybe she got just a bit off the edge. You know? Behind, if I ever went on that, there'd be a yellow line behind me <laughs> the entire way down as I boarded my way to safety. <laughs> So people that is been, so awesome. So though. they've been criticizing her and saying Why? that that you know that's Back mediocrity, off. but I'm like, but it's not mediocrity. Not for she her. she totally busted her butt to get to that thing, and you could see how careful and the focus she was doing it, and it was very pretty. You it wasn't fancy, but you couldn't stand on the edge and look down without peeing. It's I that, mean, it's it's just death. 
I don't know. So I kind of, I just kind of love, love her. her. I'm I sorry. Her. I, I think she's her. awesome. So yeah, Utah, best and worst. <clears throat> Yesterday, uh, during the, the uh, snowstorm from death, um, 450 accidents along the Wasatch Front. Uh, Overachieving. Real, well first done. First real snow uh, well of the done. winter. Um, four troopers got hit, not them people, but their cars. Oh, um, boy. And But I want to show you how you do this. Because basically, a car came around a corner. He pulled up. Police had an accident. Police pull up and make sure you're okay. Calls for backup. Backup shows up. Parks his car behind him. And then another car makes the same turn, does the same move that the other car did, and it was heading towards... This guy has the, the cop cars. The reflexes of a gazelle. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, this is amazing. Watch this. I'm out of the way. <sighs> oh my god. All in a day's work. Are you kidding me? Can you play that again, Richard? Because oh, I yeah, just I'm dying right now. He will. So that's the dash cam of the other car. I am absolutely dying right Highway now. Highway patrol and um Look at that. He's, dancing he's, for my life. He's spotting it going, I'm no, I'm fleeing like a gazelle. Look at the grace of those legs. Oh, very nice. Nice, nice Richard. Doing nice. the cha-cha. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how fast that Are car was going. Are you kidding me? Enough to move vehicles. Wow. I can't even imagine having reflexes like that. Oh, my gosh. I could watch this all day. Make him dance again. No, don't make him make dance. Make him dance. Do, 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 do. What is wrong with you? Okay. We're glad he's okay. Wow. Do, do, do. Can you imagine, though, watching it come for you going, <coughs> well, there you go. There's my fate. And what are the words you use to that driver once you've uh, survived and see this guy come hauling in to the accident site and smash into your cars? What do you say to a cop when you roll your window down? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I, I think they I think they get to do that extra thing where they get to police, pistol whip you at least once before they give you the ticket. And I almost wouldn't blame but they, him. No, they don't I do that. I would be that. like going no, on. They make you do it to yourself. <laughs> and they catch That's it on body reasonable. cam. It's an awesome move. Um, tax on food. Uh, 40 states don't do this in the United States of America. For 40, uh, 40 states do yeah. not tax food. Um, I don't think I've lived in a state where they tax food because it seems kind of silly, doesn't it? This one I actually thought was kind of in interesting. They want to remove the, the t food tax excluding candy. Right. Which I actually, people are like, well, that's so punitive. And I'm like, no, that's actually really freaking genius. Because all of the new, a lot of the new medical research, I've talked to uh, friends who's uh, have just gotten out of med school, and they say everything focuses now on the dangers of sugar and the impact, uh, even right. more so than alcohol right. and tobacco. And so I, I just thought that you're was actually a, kind of smart. You're entering a gray area. How so? Well, you, you get to Captain Crunch. Candy or food? Really? Pop-Tarts. Candy or food? See where it, see the problem. Candy or food? Yeah. yeah. Captain, you know, I'll pay higher for Captain Crunch. I'm all right with it. Fudge with walnuts. F candy. Nuts. Omega-3 fatty acids. Candy nuts. <laughs> candy nuts. Nuts and candy. Where did you have those candy nuts and the fudge my mom brought, by the way, for Valentine's Day? I'm sorry, Day? they're gone. We're all sick, by what, the way. Did you, did you seriously eat all of my mom's fudge? I had to. I had to save the children. You were in bed with a cold that I now have. No, I, have, I had pneumonia she and had I couldn't pneumonia, get out of bed. And why would you give sugar because of what she just said about university studies and the badness of sugar? Uh, why would I give that to her? I instead sacrificed myself and ate all the fudge. Oh, and the candy Del Walnuts. You deserve this cold. They were delicious. You deserve it. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, they're going to drop it. They're going to raise. Um, they're going to raise another tax. Well, it still has to go. It still it, it passed the house. It'll it has happen. to go to the general. It'll I happen. think it's a great idea. Uh, sales tax and other purchase sales tax. They're going to do sales tax um, uh, rise on uh, other things so that they can make up the difference. And it's kind of like the gas tax. I mean, the gas tax is like twenty cents a gallon. It's ridiculous along with the other taxes and stuff. Um, and uh, th they're starting to look for other resources because people's cars are more efficient using less gas. Then the, the whole hybrid thing is happening. And that's how they fix the roads and stuff. They give themselves raises. Jerks. Raises. Yeah, I remember yeah. the raises. That's yeah. good. Remember that? All right, this is like one of the most funny things I think that we've ever talked about. And I can only say this because my niece is currently living in another country where 
uh, she had met her husband on a mission and they got married and she's now pregnant and he's going to school and she has a mother-in-law that is very our computer was smoking I stood away from it now they don't use they actually don't use Facebook which is to my good fortune so I could actually ask because what had happened is my niece is really sweet but she's kind of shy and uh, she is um, they've got a they've got a midwife which was a big issue with the mother-in-law to start with and uh-huh. then they're to the point where they're talking about the birthing room and her mom is gonna fly down for the birth and the mother-in-law said it is my right to be there so what do you mean be there it is my right to be in the birthing room oh in the room it is my right and she said no my mom's not even gonna be in the birthing room no I don't want anyone but my husband and the midwife and which seems I mean like simple. right there yeah and you know, holding her leg. You know, now I've been in. There, oh. are, there are people where it is a village, and, and our yes. our beautiful baby mama, when she was giving birth to Zoe, which makes me verklempt, I got to hold her leg. I got to hold, cut the cord. Todd was outside shouting encouragement. I was behind a curtain. We had like Wizard of Oz. There were sisters and best friends and moms and nanas. And if you are into that and you can do awesome. it, awesome. It is beautiful. A tribe of women. It was really cool. But if you are not into that, no. it is horrifying. So and the woman and there, is, there were more cameras than I've seen on a tourist group. I Can I just say that? It was like they're going to Disneyland. It they, was awesome. <laughs> no, I, our baby wow. mom is the most amazing woman ever. There's but, your Christmas card. But this is so. This is at a point now where it's actually causing marital strife because he's like, I he says I can't stand up to my mom, and she's like, you got it. So I basically I went online and oh on gosh. Facebook and I said, what do you think? So. I made the mistake of putting that on the Todd and Aaron page and our Todd Aaron Collar page, and uh, we ended up with 1,737 comments. The, the computer was smoldering. Yeah, just in case you're wondering, uh, the sentiment ran 99.5% in favor of my niece and basically that she gets to do anything, but some of the quotes were hysterical, so I wanted to read a couple. Can you put those up? Um, this is your special day. She needs to butt out. Um, this was cool. Diane said, I've been in the room for 12 grandkids and it's a beautiful thing. Mom can stand at the top. She's being selfish and putting her husband in a bad place. She can be the picture taker too. Now I was nice and I was kind of like, well, you got there for great. That's great. She goes, the girl, the, the girl is being selfish. It's her birth. I didn't show you the rest of the replies cause those were smoldering. Next one. Um, this is basically, uh, the mother-to-be gets to choose what visitors are in the delivery room. The father of the baby doesn't even have the right to be there if the mom doesn't want to be there. Now, this is a labor and delivery nurse, and I loved having this. She said, look, you can totally use us as the bad guys. You can totally have oh, us yeah, go, perfect. no, you, and that way you're off the hook. We'll right. just go, no, no, we're concerned about, you know, na- prenatal stress, you know, right. baby stress. You can't right. come in. You're, fetal distress, fetal you're, distress. You're an ogre. And, you know, d- she said, don't even tell her when you're going to the hospital. Oh, she my said, gosh. Don't oh, be- my gosh. That's awesome. This one I love. We forgot to call. This one I love. She goes, don't be on the public directory. Don't put your name on it. That's what we did. So she said, we, we don't mind being the bad guys if uh-huh. it comes to that. She Because we see more incidences of fetal distress because... Right. There's like all this family arguing. So can you do the next page? I thought that was really smart, genius ideas. Um, and then Adrian says, when my husband was willing to sit in at stirrups, naked at a jaybird with a watermelon coming out of him with my mom in the room watching, I'll consider it. That basically wow. ended the discussion with the first and all other deliveries. Wow. And then the last one I thought was really cool. <laughs> is, that's it? It's okay. A, yeah. And then there was one more where basically, it, the, the common rule everyone came up with is, our rule is if you were in the room when the baby was conceived, you get to be there when the baby oh, was Oh, that's born. funny. That's and it's funny. kind of that flat down, you know, rule. It's like really hard to argue with you that You know, because, I mean, you think about it, and you've been thinking about having the baby, right? And like when you're a teenager, you're going, I think I'll have kids. Or you think about it, and, and you play with kids, and you go, I really like kids. This will be great. And then you go through, and then and, and, and you have, you're have you pregnant. And then you decide that this is going to be your big day. You have planned on this for a, huge, a long, long time, right? And then that day gets screwed over because mom-in-law wants to be there. This is like inviting your ex to your wedding. That's what it's like. It just ruins the whole thing. Well, there was one incident that I didn't get to read there where this woman actually was in heavy labor and her mother, act, mother-in-law mother actually fought with the nurse and got in the room and was screaming and she shoved her own mother and even her husband aside so she could take pictures. Mm. 
I mean, that, that to me is like, that is like the key point of psycho mother-in-law. And then there were several moms-in-law who said, if I got invited, I would be really honored. Sure. And it would be cool. Yeah, Karen, like that. I, that's what I mean. I, we're looking at Facebook right now, if you're following us on Facebook. She said, I would be honored. She said, I wasn't invited once. I was invited once. She said, my job is just to be there if they need me, which I think is a wonderful sentiment. I and, think so, too. Uh, so, I mean, most people were saying, a lot of people were really pissed off. <laughs> it was just... So, yeah, 99.95% were pretty much in favor of the mother. All right, well, it is now time for information. All right, let's go to Daisy. She's in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. She is brought to you by Always Black Friday. Always Black Friday, 32.75% off every day, 12th Street in Ogden. Also, by Denali Medical Center. Now, look, if you've got joint injuries or you've got constant migraines and misery, these are the guys that can take care of you. They can heal the injuries, no more chronic pain, and without opioids. And, of course, by All Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air. If you want to make sure that everything's working in tip-top condition so you're saving hundreds in energy, bills why don't you give them a call allutahplumbing.com daisy my dear what's going on today thanks todd and Aaron. hello everyone here's what's making news on wednesday february 21st on gephartdaily.com murray fire department crews responding to a structure fire tuesday night had to deal not only with the blaze but with temperatures in the teens about 18 firefighters were dispatched at about 7:20 to a house near 4600 south cherry street the house was uninhabited and was being used for storage. It took about 15 minutes to get the fire under control. Murray City Fire Captain Matt Bolden said keeping crews from freezing was a high priority. With the cold snap, we're also trying to keep people warm, he said. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A seventh man has been arrested in Iron County after making arrangements to have sex with what he thought would be two 13-year-old girls. The last man, 46-year-old Eugene Alvarado, dro drove from Sunnydale, California to Paragona, Utah, a trip of 730 miles, and immediately was cuffed and booked. Like the six suspects before him, Alvarado allegedly communicated with a confidential informant to arrange details of the encounter, then traveled to a house in northern Iron County where law enforcement officers moved in and made the arrest. And West Valley City has announced its new police chief. She is Colleen Jacobs, who also uh, who was also interim chief after the retirement of its former chief, Lee Russo, in September. Jacobs has been in law enforcement 21 years. She's worked for the West Valley Police Department her entire career. During her career, Jacobs has served in patrol, investigations, narcotics, grants, internal affairs, and as deputy chief. She also attended FBI National Academy. And time now for your Wasatch Front forecast, brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's top audiovisual specialists. Utah temperatures were well below freezing last night and dipped below zero in at least half a dozen locations around the state. Skies will be partly cloudy with little chance of snow today or Thursday, but you will need your jacket all day. Mother Nature is not fooling around. That's it for now. For more news 24-7, go to GetParkDaily.com. For now, Todd and Aaron, back to you. Thank you, my dear Daisy. We appreciate it. All right. I want to tell you about all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. One of the nice things about them is they're going to be straight up front. You might get other bids. They might be less, but there's a reason why they're less. Number one, when they come in and they give you a bid at All Utah Plumbing, they are taking into account all the problems they're going to run into, they might run into, as opposed to piling more on top of the repair or the remodel. For more information, go to allutahplumbing.com. All righty, tell me something good. Now, I love tell me something good because there are so many different points, especially in the morning when my faith in mankind tends to be shaken. So this comes halfway through where we're like, okay, we can all redeem ourselves. We can always be happy. So brought to you by Albies Black Friday. They are 30 to 75% off every day. Um, and uh, they're on 12th Street in Ogden. You can go online and take a look at some of the, the stock they've got in it. Now, a lot amazing. Of these, sorry, a lot of these stories actually start off like really horrific. This one's one of those. Okay, so stay with it, though. Don't, don't go away because it'll ruin your day. All right, so the airline worker's name's Denise. And uh, she the who, was, I'm sorry, the what? It's an airline worker for okay. American Airlines. Okay, got it. Name is Denise. And uh, she was checking in two girls, and she thought, okay, th this is really squirrely. They were 12 and 14. They approached the counter at Sacramento International Airport. For starters, they were traveling along with only, like, a little backpack, and they had first-class tickets. Bought with their parents' uh, credit card, I guess. So instead of allowing the girls to 
board the flight, she kept talking to us for a minute while she was calling the police, going, hey, what are you going to be doing in New York? Right, and right. they went, oh, we've got a modeling contract. Oh. There's a guy, and he, he's a big agency, and, he's, and he said, don't, you don't even have to pack much because I have wardrobes here of things, and we'll make your portfolios, and, oh. and you're going to be models. Oh. So... Um, they so and then she looked further and it wasn't even their parents credit card which they had lied and said it was it right. was a stolen credit card so he had bought them tickets on a stolen credit card right so she called the police right so she called the police police airport police discovered they'd been contacted on Instagram by a man named Dre who had offered them two thousand dollars to fly to New York City for a modeling gig so they could sign with a big agency and so they skipped out 12 on, and 14 so they skipped out on their parents and think about how dumb you were at 12 and 14 you're going to get a modeling gig. Oh, I hate that phrase for little girls. It just makes me nuts. So, so question. So I know that they, they're training uh, people. Uh, and they were also shocked to find out the tickets were one way. They didn't know that right. either. They were young. and, and they, so, so, yeah. So I know they're training personnel and stuff to kind of recognize this. And they recognize the fact that if the child is sitting in a seat next to a person, if they're quiet, they don't talk. Behaviors, yeah. Maybe they're a little, look like they're drugged a little bit. Um, they don't go anywhere. They're not allowed to go to the bathroom by themselves. Right, right. The that person they, will stand outside the bathroom with them. Some of the signs, some of the signs of what, what the deal is. And they've had a numerous amount of people when they've landed that the police are there to figure it out, to make sure that everything's on the up and up. So the parents race to the airport and they're crying and they say, we've got to meet Denise, this person who, uh, right, right, who, right, right, who, right. who did this for us. And they said, oh, we know who you're talking about. Her name's Denise Miracle. We call her by her last name because this is the fourth time she's spotted human trafficking. Wow. Her last name is Denise Miracle. Miracle. Isn't that sweet? That's very awesome. All right, that's pretty cool. Coming up. All right, coming up, Adventure Dude. Okay, but first we have to talk about Christopher's. Um, this is our bribery. This is our thank you. This is our love for you being so amazing and staying with us this long. So essentially it's dinner for four. You get to have a fabulous night. Everything is taken it's care of. It's awesome. All you have to do is drop a comment. If you're watching us on Facebook today, maybe you're on the Get Part Daily page, Get Part Approved, just say hi. If you're on the Todd Naren page and you're part of the big group of girls, mm -hmm. hi, guys, we love you. Just drop a comment saying, Christopher's, Friday we draw a winner. All right. It, coming, that's it. Coming up, Tony Abbott. Who is Tony Abbott? He's the outdoor dude. Why is he out, outdoor dude? Because after he does his expo, which we're going to tell you about, right after that, where does he go? Thailand. Why? Diving. Hey, then Tim. what's he do? He flies back to Utah. What's he do then? He grabs his wife. Then what's he do? He goes to... Uh, uh, um, um, is it uh, Singapore? Uh, no, he's going to... The, New the, Zealand? New Zealand. And meanwhile... So jealous. I can't find my remote. <laughs> Talk to him next. <laughs> the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by UtahCreditApproval.com. Bad things happen to good people, but you can get your credit back on track and get a reliable automobile by giving them a call. 801-404-7201. And also by Columbus Travel with spectacular deals on cruises and all-inclusive vacations. Go to ColumbusVacations.com. And all Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air, where they have a winter special that they can check out your furnace and make sure that it's operating efficiently, saving you hundreds of dollars in energy bills. Just go to all Utah utahplumbing.com. Did you know that you can catch the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, and GetPartDaily.com any time of the day or night? At Always Black Friday, we love a good deal. We buy new and used products at a discount so we can pass on the savings to you. And we're Get Part Approved. From electronics to clothing to appliances. If you want it, we have it at discount prices. Visit our eBay store or come to our warehouse at 865 West 12th Street in Ogden. Always Black Friday, where you can find Black Friday deals all year round. Happy Black Friday! Oh, my goodness! He just attacked that! Oh, dude! That is freaking awesome! There's about a five and a half, six foot octopus. Come back well, 10 what? yards. No, it was me and my wife. Oh, All right, so anyway, Todd and Aaron, <laughs> Morningstream, GetBartDaily.com, Tony Abbott. Why does Tony have a better opening than we do? I know, right? <laughs> Because the they octopus. have pity on me. I want the big fish. You guys fish. are the best. How are you guys doing? Very good yourself. You? I'm you? glad you're back. Thank you. I you were like you. MIA last week. I was very bitter. I, I mean, me and Todd were rolling. Yeah, it we're, wasn't the same. Wasn't the same. No, it's pretty cool though. Okay, wait. You had a horror story because we were just talking about labor and delivery, and oh. the, the mother-in-law who said it was her right to be in the room. Yeah, and the story I get. Here's what I miss. Right. I miss my dad's days and I wasn't even alive then right they didn't allow him in the delivery room right they're smoking a pipe outside yeah, so yeah. long story short I've had three my wife's had three children right I good, was part of it but save. not part good of the save. deal okay. <laughs> the first one at seven hours before she had it I disappeared out of the room and never returned and sent her mother in 
I was young. I was standing in water. They'd broken her water. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't handle it. Adventure dude. You're still Adventure married. Dude. Adventure dude. You're still married. Child two. You okay. Can, wait, four you and a half years later. You wait, can wait. gun an elk, but you can't handle amniotic fluid. Uh, wait a fluid. minute. Wait a minute. Four and a half years later, later. we have our next child. Next day. They test. have to do a C-section. Yeah. Right. So He was there for mine. <laughs> so they bring me in. Right. I'm standing up there. The curtain, Tony, my wife. Right. And when the doctor is all of a sudden up on top of my wife doing stomach compressions Sound to get familiar, this child baby? out, <laughs> I about go down. I leave. The child isn't even out yet. Okay, that's two Fast down. Three and a half years three, later yeah. for my last child. I'm surprised it wasn't longer. I'm like, I can do this. Okay. So me, wife, right. curtain, it, yeah. another C-section, get it going. Okay, things are good. I start hearing the suction. I start hearing some different things. Right? Hey, why don't you just sit down, Mr. Adam? So I sit down. Because you're looking funny. Put your head down between. Okay, I look down. And guess what's running between my legs? The clean out tube. <laughs> Down goes Tony. Seven nurses are grabbing me. <laughs> There's no one left for my wife and baby. It's like a redwood going down, down in California. And people are like, people are like, just like you said. Wait a minute, you got deer? Yeah, I don't got my wife. I, I don't want to see the insides hopefully. of my wife. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, I don't think it's any place for a man. To this day, it's no place for a man. The delivery. God bless you. I'm, your wife so is funny. a saint. Oh, she's more than a Your saint. Your wife is a freaky. I, I want to meet this woman so I can kiss her hand. Well, I may not be her. married after what we're about to do here, am I, Todd? Well, I'm going to show you the other side of Tony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but first of all, let's talk about the big uh, outdoor expo. Oh, tomorrow. man, we're two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks out. Uh, almost sold out. I've got a handful of booths up on the top floor. They're four hundred dollars a booth if you want it. You know the yeah. big outdoors. I was right. talking to Lisa, one of our sales director, and she said that they've been picking up people from here, which I did not know. But you've got like food trucks coming. Oh, you've got all of these yes. amazing vendors, people that I knew from here. I didn't realize how many good food vendors you have. You have gourmet cotton candy people coming. Yes, we do. I'm beside myself. Candy the thing apples. about the thing about this is that like the whole family has stuff to do, which is kind of fun. I love your kids section, by the way. That is such a good idea. You are really. I mean, it, such you know, it's a good not idea. a night out with Aaron, but it's still pretty good. Thank That's you. Right. You're very sweet. And well, no, it is. I mean, it is. It's good. Twelve and under get in free. Twelve and under free. That's cool. So tell your taller kids to slouch. Uh, and then uh, the dates are. <laughs> and they do that in Utah. By yeah, the way. Oh, oh he's, I'm like the kid's six foot tall. Oh yeah, he's eleven. It's it a, early, early beginner. He's got a beard. Um, dates are March 9th and 10th. <laughs> right. At the UCCU Center in right. Orem. And then the Saturday night. In fact, if you get on Smith Ticks right now, we've got the Jay Moore concert. That's and right. That's limited Comedian, seating. Funny guy. I mean, he is funny. Oh, he is funny. So cool. You guys may have an in for that one. Oh know? really? That's very yeah. really, really. Yes. We, have, we might have, know somebody cool. That Maybe. Might have, like, I mean, list outdoor and, dude. Oh, they can't. Sure. They can't stand. Doesn't want to see the mighty to, redwood. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the mighty redwood. Yeah. It's no place for a man. So I was, bra- I was bragging on you. <coughs> oh, uh, you're gonna go to uh, oh, my wallet, Thailand. Right? Oh yes, I am. Then you're gonna fly back to get your oh, wife. I'm so jealous. Yeah, you're gonna fly her to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. First time in 12 years that she's gone. <coughs> oh my so gosh. She's very excited. Well, like I said. By the end of this segment, she may not want to go anywhere with This is the funny thing. This is. <laughs> this might be bringing up old memories. She's like, wait a well, minute. Well, Todd's kind of. The, he's got a way of just digging both sides of them. I mean, he can play both sides. Mm-hmm. All right. He does it well. All right. So, so uh, Mount Tipanogos, family's going on a hike. Um, let's show the first part, shall we? Look at that Emerald oh. Lake. Oh, man. What a darling family. How awesome is that? Nice. We hiked through the night, so we got there for sunrise. I think the next You hiked night, through the night? Yes, we left at 10 o'clock at wow. night. Wow. Oh, my the gosh. The Aspen Trailhead. We got, here's us as the sun's coming okay, up. Okay, she is adorable. Utah she's Lake. adorable. Thank you. The first time she's ever hiked Tim. Nightmare. She goes. She couldn't do it. We did. Oh, look at the big outdoor shirt. How That's far? a shameful plug. Right? It is. You are the worst. Shameful. How far? How far is it? Uh, so that trail. Uh, that's about seven miles that and way. It's up. But it's the steep one. Yeah. And is. then there's an 11 mile right. one down. So oh, yeah, I, I've yeah. spent years trying to get her up. Tim. I've okay. hiked it countless times. Well, this sounds like a good setup because it's a, a wonderful experience to share. Free. Uh, and then um, let's show them the next part, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this. I have. So this is on the. So this is at the bottom. This is search and rescue. Now let's <coughs> rewind a little Wait, bit. Wait, let me clarify. Why are we talking search and? That's a lot of search and rescue. Well, you're about to find out. I don't Go know ahead. If we've got some pictures or video. Ah, oh my God! Please tell me that's not your wife. On the way down, she falls yeah. and breaks yeah. her leg. Dude, what have you done? Uh, people are saying I pushed her. Right, well, some did. Some are oh, saying I pushed her. She is an angel. What this woman? I can't. So there, there oh, she is in the ER. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and, um, and look at 
at her cute pink fingernails. Oh, she's yeah. still adorable. So she's not pleased with me at this moment because her worst nightmare happened. She fell and broke her leg coming down the mountain. Now, of That's course, That's a fairly me, big break if she's in the hot Oh, oh yeah. you're so screwed. Oh, oh you anyway, are. She's still smiling like, yeah, I'm a good sport. <laughs> well, I, and here's the thing. When she's laying there, I'm like, hey, look, you want me to just carry you out? And she's like, no. I'm like, hey, do it by myself. Well, like, oh. there she goes. So they bring up the deer oh. cart. This oh. is what you will dead deer out yeah. of. Yeah, okay? yeah, right. So they bring the deer cart. They got this big, big train. Big I mean, we're clear up to the That's top. That's freaking there. hysterical. Well, all while we're waiting woman. for search and rescue to get and there, I'm up. like, hey, if you want, I can just quarter you up and get you and skin you, and I can go oh. down the mountain, pack oh. you on my back. You've she done enough. Funny. I so, wonder why she didn't laugh at that. So then I offer chest compressions and mouth to mouth. No. She doesn't want either. No. Aaron, where did I go wrong? I'm an expert at getting things off the mountain. How long look, you, look at this. How long have you been married again? Oh. 26 years. Yeah, I'm surprised I, she I'm, used I'm her really... thumb when she did that finger, <laughs> that finger up thing. I would oh, think. Oh, that is so So this harsh. was uh, the end of July. Uh, How long did it take to get down? Uh, so by the time they got her and right. got her on the cart down, it was right. about six hours. Of bumpy, of bumpy oh. carrying and, on and a bro- broken and of course, leg. I documented it and all. Bro- well, you know, you're like that. You're a filmmaker. You're an observer. That's beautiful. So what's, this what's woman interesting is, an is my son was quite a bit ahead of us coming down the mountain. And there's pretty good cell service now. So when she fell and brought, I mean, we knew, you heard it. I mean, it was, it was game oh. over. Oh. And I'm, of course, trying to be nice and laughable and a little late. supportive. I mean, it's still young. <laughs> and I'm I, happy. I, I figured out was kind of like Todd would have been with you. Sure, He's yeah, a yeah. little more loving than I am. Yeah. And so we waited. Wait, 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 wait. So, so how long ago was this? This would have been a summer, a summer ago. And has she hiked with you since? Oh no, never, never, never. So, okay. and she swears she never will. But right now, I'm I'm heading to New Zealand. Right, right after the expo. Um, right. By the way, if you did get a chance to meet his amazing friends, we did a whole segment with them, and and the and oh yeah, they're incredible. Kate and Simon. They're incredible estate. They're they're the most beautiful people, and that is the most amazing place. You have to go. You can go back on getpardaily.com and you can see the whole interview because they're really special. Anyway, sorry. Well, no, and that's good. So I've been this will be my twelfth year, and she's never been. And my this son's been twice. Anyway, right. so I have a friend that's coming out to hunt. He's bringing his wife. He's a newlywed in November, and so I'm on the phone with him. And I turn to my wife, like this. Just we just decided this like Sunday. Oh, fun! I'm like, hey, you want to go to New Zealand? Cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I said, but we're going for two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So I'm yeah. taking her to New Zealand. Nice. Uh, nice. Maybe we'll do some hiking. That yeah. is. Tony, I'm maybe little, I'll, maybe Tony, I'll give Tony, it to Kate. Tony, Tony. Yeah. Uh, there are cliffs there. I would not go close to you. Because payback, so your, you know what. How good is your life insurance? I yeah. bet really good. In fact, I just uh, paid it. That's fortunate. <laughs> you are that's the fortunate. worst. All right, one more time. When is the expo? Uh, the expo is March 9th and 10th, you guys. Like I said, there's a little bit of boost space left, but now it's about get it on your calendar. It's Come be attend. Fun. There's Make something sure for there. everyone. So Outfit fun. your next adventure. Right. Todd and Aaron will be there. Right. I'll be there. TheBigOutdoors.com. And get your Jay Moore tickets. You can get them right now at smithticks.com. And a J. Moore ticket gets you into the expo free. Boom. This there you go. So much Tony fun. Abbott. Thank good you, sir, to have time. you back. You guys are the I best. know I missed you all. This is great. We'll be back right after this. Oh, my goodness. He just attacked that. Oh, dude. That is freaking awesome. There's about a five and a half, six foot octopus. Come back well. Ten what? yards. Welcome back. It is the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream. It's chaos. But live in Daisy. Really like it ever is not chaos. It's like rush hour on the London Underground. Something like that. All right. So we experience Uber, what do they call it? Uber Eats. Uber Eats. And it's a disaster both times. And I did Grubhub. Okay. So we did our our review on it where there was a mess up of addresses and stuff like that. First time we did it. Mm -hmm. And now what's it called? Grubhub. Grubhub. So you and Jay were th- Here we you're go. thinking, I'm leaving. I want to have food. I'm yeah, gonna order and I want to hear your story too about Uber Eats because I was wondering whether to try that. So Monday night, right, it's freezing cold. The Bachelor's on. I'm super excited. Jay's being a darling. He's going to watch it with me. 
and um, and I say to him, babe, do you know what? We've never had food delivered to our house. We've been we've been because and there's so many pleasing options now. Yeah, right? yeah. And it's funny in England because you can get takeaway, but you don't really get food delivered very much. That's it's, why it's, it's takeaway. You you have to go and take it away. Yeah, from the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So you go and bring it back. So it's not really in my mentality. But I said to him, I was like, so should we just get takeaway? Should we be really naughty? Because I don't really feel like cooking and all this. He's like, yeah, okay, let's do that. So, um, so we talk about pizza. We decide we might want pizzeria limone, and the way to oh, do. Oh, yummy! Yeah, yeah. Have you had pizzeria limone? No, but I've heard it's really good. So good. Okay, good. And not too right. expensive. So, okay, that's a good idea. Um, the way you order pizzeria limone is through Grubhub. Mm -hmm. So Grubhub charges about three ninety nine. Um, and then there's I could do that yeah and then there's a minimum order and the minimum mm -hmm. order was like 20 bucks but we were like that's cool we can order sure. a pizza a salad you know yeah, sure. put some extra toppings on that'll mm -hmm. be great so we ordered and um, they said an hour and it was 6 o'clock we're like that's cool you know but we were a little hungry by then Sorry, this is going to go a long time. I'm painting the picture for you. No, no, no. But the trouble is we all know that moment when you're hungry. Then it's like the hour starts ticking very exactly. slow. Because you are waiting. Exactly. So so it comes to 7. Look, actually, about quarter past 7. And she comes along with our pizza and limona bag. That's great. So we're quite hungry. You're like, thank then. you. I'm going to pounce. Thank you so yeah. much. So we go in. We open it up. We're like, this looks good. Not our order. Oh, that's a problem. Not but what good. we wanted. But, but good. We okay. have a pizzeria with a pizza with like pepperoni and a different salad and then a brownie. We're like, okay, it's you just know, not, not ours. ideal. And then I pull out the receipt from the person that is supposed to be going to, and it has her cell number. She lives like not too many blocks away oh, from so, us. Oh, okay. And it tells us what she ordered. So. Jay gets on the phone to Grubhub to see, you know, what... Can you, you know. come back and bring me my pizza? Yeah. And then... We're hungry. But, but then her cell number was on the receipt. So I text her. And I'm like, God, I'm so enterprising, right? I think it's smart. Yeah. So I just text her and I'm like, I Do thought you have it was my super pizza? smart. I'm like, so the, the Grubhub driver is coming your way with our order. Um, we've got yours. Do you want, you know... It, if she can come back and bring ours, she can take yours. That's blah, very blah, blah. clever, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. So there's this silence. And in the meantime, Jay's on the phone with Grubhub. And the nice lady from Grubhub says, um, it's very unlikely that, that she'll come back. Um, so what we can do is we'll give you a refund. Um, and you can reorder. But I'm hungry. And I'm like, well. And my order's like three blocks away right. from me. Yeah, so that takes another hour. So then it's eight o'clock. But then Jay and I's brains start ticking. And we're like, hmm, all right. So he goes, yeah, we'll take the refund. Um, and then, yeah, perhaps we'll put in another order. So we're going to get a refund. Mm -hmm. But then we're like, well, we'll just eat hers. It looks pretty good. Sure, fine. And by this time, I'm praying that she doesn't then come back. And then yeah, we're like, like oh, no. I just <laughs> had your brownie. I'm sorry. It looked delicious. But the end That's part so of the story funny. was that. So I text her. And, and, and finally, she texts back. And she's like, oh, you know, your order looked fairly similar to ours. So, we, you know, we've just gone, gone ahead and, like, you know, we're, we're just eating it. Uh, and I text her back. And I'm like, great. That's hysterical. Um, so... By the way, ask Grubhub for a refund. Oh, good give for you. Because, yeah, you screwed it up. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and she goes, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And the, the end of the story is I said to Jay, like, you're going to cringe at this. I said, babe, how funny would this be, right? I text her, and I'm like, hey, you sound really cool, and you liked my food, and I liked yours. So can we, like, hang out sometime? <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be creepy at all. And I didn't do that, but I was... I'm very relieved. I was laughing so hard, because can you imagine if she got that text? She'd be She's like, like, I'm just going to spit this pizza right back up now. Oh, God, block the number, block the number. 
<laughs> you were so creepy. That's because you were watching The Bachelor. I gave you the creeper instinct. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah. So what was, was so what was your Uber Eats? No, Uber one? Eats was really weird. I ordered online both times on our, my computer, mm-hmm. on my PC. And uh, one time it went to 4th South and State Street. I have no idea why. And you can see you, know, you can see the little dot stop. And it's like, why are you stopping there? And that's not that's particularly a long, And he texted there. me and goes, well, where are you? I'm at this, and I'm like, that's not our address. And I went back and I, and you can't, you can't change anything and you can't content a Mac unless you have got the app on your phone. And I did it online, so I had to go back and I had to re-download the app on my phone, which took like 10 minutes. Uh-huh. And by then he's like, I can't believe you didn't answer my thing. I've taken it back. Your order is canceled. And I'm like, but I was just trying to get the app on. The <laughs> so the next time I was smart and I had the app ready on my phone uh-huh. and then I tried ordering again. And uh, this time he ended up over in Harvard Yale somewhere. Oh, so which both, is also not near you. No. So the computer, for some re- uh, their, their system, for some reason, changed our address each time. I don't know if maybe it flipped it to somebody else's order or something, but so we never got food that was actually warm, and I kind of gave up. I'm like, never That mind. was the other thing. The pizza was totally cold. Yeah. I, just um, kinda, I was like, never mind. It's not worth the effort. It's I would be curious, tiring. though, if anyone watching has had... You know, I mean, I'm not dissing Grubhub. It's just that it wasn't a great experience. Maybe Uber Eats, had, you've had better experiences yeah, than Yeah, tell us did. if you have had good experiences, because I, I would be interested, you know, if anyone loves it. You, you know. know what? If I had thought of the creeper approach, though, I think I would have just, I would have broken in. I would have tried it. It was so silly. It just made me laugh so hard. I was like, because it's horrible. It's so awkward and funny. Because and you keep picturing it, picturing her pick up the phone going, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> like, that, that lady has no friends. Are you an attractive young couple, too? Yeah. Are we going to try it again? No. Are we going to try it again? No. Why? We like, should I like try Uber food. Eats and you should try Grab. And then we'll see if we get each other's food. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good It's idea. entirely possible. All right, Daisy, thank you so yeah, much. So thank you, baby. There you go. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the okay. creeper instincts. You're beautiful. That's funny. Yeah, that was disappointing. All righty. Well, this is very funny to me. Now, you know that there's been a lot of, and as there should be, by the way, there should be a huge amount of, of discussion about um, consent. Yeah. And they're doing a lot of things. There's a couple of bills in the Utah State Legislature that, it, that approach that. There's a lot of different ones that are going on college campuses now right. that address it. But as always, there is an app for that. Is there? Yeah. Is it they like, have is sexual. Is signing like a contract or something? They have sexual consent apps. It's true. That, well, How does it work? This is true, and I, I think this is very important, and I would like to hope that, that at some point, if you were going to choose to be this intimate with someone, you would know them well enough that you could discuss these things. True. Because that's important. You can't... Right. It is. It's really important. You want to be able to know where you draw the line. You want to know what you feel comfortable. Right. And, but for a lot of people, that is relatively horrifying so to even I don't assume. understand the app thing. So, well, they've got... they. Um, this is pretty interesting. Of course, the the core of anything is the basically the question of of yes or no and and what was consent. Number one is the smartphone app We Consent and another one that's saucy. And basically this is a, it's a consent by click matrix where you go online and you're looking at each other's phones. Yeah. Pick up your phone and pretend you're looking. Okay. We're looking at each other's phones. I have your phone? No, you're looking at your phone. Okay, I got my phone. And I'm sending my, you're for looking up Stacy, and I'm looking up at it, and then it's got the little checklist. I go, my name's okay. Aaron. And you're like, oh, I'm, hi, Todd. I'm preparing. And then there this. might be a short checklist. Are we this close to each other, actually? That Probably so, because I would probably be this person and be like, look at my phone, look at your phone. And then it gives you a checklist. Okay. And then, nah, 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 nah. And then at the bottom, you have to go, we, I consent. Now, I would like to point out, this is for both the male and the female. It should be very clear that you also consent. And so once you have a... Is there an emoji, like a a smiley face? Here's the best thing. Here's the best thing. Enthusiastic consent? It is now a legally binding contract with an encrypted transcription verifiable stamp using bio blockchain technology. Now, if one of you breaches the agreement, say by not using protection or perhaps first of all it's illegal you could end up in court on a breach of contract lawsuit now one of the reasons that they've been using this to approach is they say the criminal court is of course obviously seriously very serious but it is also more difficult it is more difficult to prove these things um, if you're going into a legally binding arbitration then you can actually go on a much more severe charge in terms of penalties and fines huh. So one of the things they're saying is they're trying to take it out of that arena and into a separate one 
where it becomes, I guess, more verifiable. All right, so a question. Yes. If you are so much into your phone that you know about this app and you're going to use it, and you use your phone that much. Oh, and Legal Fling is another one that's awesome. And you use it that much, when would you have time to meet someone? <laughs> We're like that. Oh hi, uh, she's kind of attractive. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to this, and I'm gonna look at my phone some more. Uh. Well, it's nice to know there's an app for anything. I actually thought the approach was kind of interesting. It is. It's more I, playful than you I know think what I mean. That, I, th I think that for a certain population, uh, they would go, "That's very cool. I could totally do that." Name me know. a Disney character. Little Mermaid. On strike. What's her name? Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. Name me another one. Uh, Mickey. Mickey. Uh, on strike. Name another one. Uh, strike. That's goofy. Sorry. Uh, strike. Moana. On strike. Okay. Uh, We're all, okay. Everyone's on strike. On strike. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Tell me more. They're still working because it is the happiest place on earth. It's a working strike. I've never heard of that before. Yes. Because well, just because. You know what though? <coughs> a lot of them are very dedicated, and they're to the point where like I cannot let these kids down. They are on uh, the union. The union. Uh, some of them are unionized, and this is in the Florida. Oh, well, location. Yeah, a lot of them have SAG certification, Screen right. Actors Guild. So yeah. Well, this is a union union. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Yeah. And so basically, what they've done is uh, Disney is going to because of the t uh, the, the um, uh, new tax deal. They'd made a big announcement that they were giving all of their employees a one thousand dollar bonus, which is fantastic. Except for the ones in the union, because they haven't voted on the contract yet, the new contract that they're looking at, so they don't get a grant. So until they agree to sign happy. the contract, they don't get their bonus. It's not the happiest place on earth. Isn't that kind of like extortion? Hey, the guy at the churro stand had his thousand bucks. That's right. But because you have refused to sign the contract, you're not getting anything until you do. Even Goofy got money. Seven dwarves, thousand, 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 thousand. But not can the union guys. That? Well, they're gonna. I work guess it they out. can. They're gonna work it out. I guess they can. They're gonna but... work it out. Work it out. This is for the children. People. That's still my favorite new thing about Disneyland, and, and I, I read this the other day, and it just kills me, is whenever you see Woody and his girlfriend out in costume, and they're out walking around, and if you yell, here comes Andy, they both collapse to the ground like rag dolls. Bonelessly. It's really cute. <sighs> probably not for them, because probably... I go there just for that. I bet people shout that 300 times a day. Oh, like, my I'm gosh. getting concrete rash. Please, just That stop. is hilarious. All right, coming up next, we've got Hollywood Connection, a big couple breaking up, which is, uh, I always think that's sad. And George and Amal Clooney are awesome, and so Again? is Ryan Reynolds on the Deadpool set, doing the weirdest thing you would picture on a set as strange and filthy as depraved as Deadpool. It's we'll, coming up next. We'll explain. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, you'll find out that you can get a mortgage with a credit score as low as 600. Fink and McGregor, also by The Vein Clinic. If you go to theveinclinic.com, you can schedule an appointment and find out some amazing options for pain-free removal of varicose veins and spider veins. Your legs can look great again with The Vein Clinic. And also by Black Diamond Experts. They're experts in electric, plumbing, heating, and air. And they also have a brand new store up in Ogden now. If you'd like to reach them you can go to blackdiamondexperts.com so jeff you do mortgages right i do how do you do well you go to our website fourminutemortgage.com fill out the application we'll call you within one business day the whole thing takes about a month to start to finish we went to the bank they got really personal I went through all of our personal records and all of our finances. And then there was that little deal about the $8,000 closing cost. <laughs> took like four months. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Bacon, awesome. Glad you could run out off the set and get some. Let's go to the Hollywood Connection brought to you by... Connect Heating and Air. They're the great people who can handle a maintenance schedule for all of your commercial properties, and you don't have to worry about a thing. Just go to utahheatingandcooling.com. Okay, George and Amal Clooney, can we love them more? No. I was, you didn't give me a chance to answer. Okay, George and Amal Clooney, can we love them? No. Can we love them more? No. Because they're awesome. 
Why? Okay, well, now, I was impressed with him because he's always been a perennial bachelor. He married Amal, who is the most amazing woman ever. She's a barrister in London. She's a freaking genius. She works on human rights. She prosecutes war criminals around the world. So basically, she's like about as awesome as you How can How long get. has she been making coffee? She's a, a bar barrister. Oh, wait, that's a lawyer. A barista. Right, that Barrister coffee. would be a... Barrister, okay. Okay, and they had twins who were adorable. They're adorable. And they're like super happy. And when he won his Academy Award, he said, I don't know what mysterious alchemy brought you into my universe, but I'm so grateful for you. So it's like, they can't be cooler. Plus he used an old word. Alchemy's awesome. This was really interesting. They just gave half a million dollars to the upcoming March for Our Lives event. Um, this is the one where the students and teachers are basically walking out of school, and a lot of them are going to try to converge on Washington, D.C. Right. to march about gun control. And, and talk about what's going on. And uh, basically he said, Amal and I are so inspired by the courage and eloquence of these young kids. Um, he said that we're gonna attend the march, we're gonna be there with you, we'll stand beside you. And he said, our family's gonna be there to stand with this incredible generation in the name of our children, Ella and Alexander, to help pay for the groundbreaking event. He says, our children's lives depend on it. Mm -hmm. So great, hey, they just made me cry so maybe I don't like him as much anymore. You know what the cool They're thing about adorable. this was, and I'm not going to get into. I don't want to. This get is in. not about. Yeah. This is not about that. I'm Let's talk gonna, about the fact that our children, me, our children, have done activism. Okay, there. so um, interesting because uh, the baby boomers, right? The baby boomers, um, they can say the words, "Gosh, you know, this, these shootings never happened in my day. These shootings never happened when I was." In it high was school. unheard of. N yeah. Never happened. Never happened. And now you have the millennials, and the millennials say, "This has always happened." This is what I grew up with. This is their this is their their age. It's like this is something I remember from first grade. I remember these things happening my entire life, which is going to change some stuff. And uh, matter of fact, I heard some people bitch uh, complaining uh, yesterday about the teachers doing a strike. Was it March? March fourteenth, a month 14th. from a month from the event. And there's some different there's some different times and schedules about that. Um, and they're like, blah, 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 blah. and it's like you know what they're giving you how many months warning on this that they're not going to go to school on a certain day. And it was like, well, you know, what do I do with my kids? And you know what? This is about your kids. <laughs> and the, you can make arrangements. They're giving you plenty of time, and I hope you can find those arrangements because this is something important to teachers. This is, I mean, you don't well, really we'll be hear. There. We'll be there at our march with our kids. What kind of effect this has on teachers as well. Well, I mean, I mean yeah, they're, so. they're putting their bodies between a gunman yeah. and your children. Right. So anyway. So yeah, they get to do, at that point I'm figuring you get to do anything you want. They and get I'll, to say. I'll, be, I'll stand there with you. And it's just going to be a different voice, yeah. I think. It's going to be really interesting. And, and no matter what your, I think no matter what your stance is on this, and I think it is so much more complicated than just gun control, but we have to we have to start having a conversation that's serious. But the fact that it takes 14-year-old children to go, okay, we're done here, you have to do something. When your 14-year-old kids have to tell you that you're not taking care of them, that's really sad. All right, So and how anyway. to do that? Not a clue in the world. All right, so let's talk about right. uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan All right, Reynolds. Deadpool. Deadpool was, of course, the, the highest grossing R-rated movie in history. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's terrible but incredibly funny. It is funny. terribly bad. If you have seen it, you also already know it's terrible but incredibly funny. And I love Ryan Reynolds. Like if you think you have a moderate taste that you could put up with uh, a 5 out of 10, you're wrong. Here's, Don't. <laughs> so he just posted this picture of himself, and we'll show it to you. Now, he's on the set of Deadpool, which is the most god-awful place ever, and he said, one of the best parts of playing the big red uh, idiot is welcoming Make-A-Wish and the Children's Foundation onto the set. What? So he had all these adorable Make-A-Wish kids on the set of Deadpool. And he's just being just nice a, to them. Just this horrible movie. Oh, that's funny. And he's in costume, and he took them all around, and he actually is an amazing dad, and he's a, he, he is, loves yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. Took them all around, showed them everything. They got to try it all the props. He let, them so beat it. he let them beat up all the stuntmen. Oh, funny. <laughs> Which funny. I thought was awesome. But what an amazing thing he did. So, And he said one of the reasons that he thought this was important, and he was kind of confused that he got so many... Um, Request for Make a Wish because he's like, why would why? why would your kids? why did you watch this? It's because Deadpool, if you remember, his character was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Oh right. right. And he was doing and as a, a, you know a, a puny weak human, he was doing everything he could to live for the woman he loved. Right. And so all of these kids related to this. They resonated with what Deadpool went through to to stay. Okay. Right. And so it's sweet, but it's also like it's disturbing. that is so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm proud of him. Jennifer Aniston. Justin Thoreau. This is a 
sad thing. Last year it was Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. And no, no. Oh, Jennifer, wait a minute. No, Jennifer and Brad are not getting back together. Please don't say that again, please. So what happened? Um, What's going on? They've been, I guess, I didn't realize this. They apparently got married two years ago in a secret ceremony. Nobody knew they got married. Right. They kind of just did it. Right. Which is good for them. And then they did the standard Hollywood announcement. We are two best friends who have decided to part ways as a couple, but look forward to our continuing our cherished relationship. Normally we would do this privately, but given that the gossip industry cannot resist an opportunity to speculate an event, we wanted to convey the truth directly. So. There you go. There you go. I'm sorry. I always hate it when people... I've never... I don't think I've ever cheered when someone got divorced except for one time when the woman was crazy and she tried to kill the husband, which seemed like a good thing to cheer a divorce. Yeah. I've never been happy. It's yeah. always like a sad thing. All right, so information always. is coming up with Daisy. All right, she's in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom, and she is brought to you by Think & McGregor, Mortgage is Made Simple. If you're really concerned about all the weird changes we've seen with interest rates and the stock market and what you should be doing, a four-minute trip to think-mcgregor.com will give you a ton of answers, options for mortgages. Someone can call you back within the next business day. Also, by the Vane Clinic, if you go to thevangclinic.com, you can book a consultation. I go to the Riverton location, and I had a pain fee varicose vein surgery that was done in, I think, 20 minutes while I checked my phone, and you could see the results within three days. That's pretty good. And also by Brio Technologies, your experts in lighting, sound, and video. They are experts because the owner is currently on a concert tour with David Archuleta, which tells you he knows what he's doing. Go to brioaudiovisual.com. Daisy, my dear, what's going on today? Thanks. Todd and Aaron, here's what's making national and world news headlines on Wednesday, February 21st on Gebhardt Daily. Police in Las Vegas say they have arrested a suspect in the cold-blooded murder of two homeless men and the attempted murder of two others. Police say that 26-year-old Joshua Castellon was taken into custody Tuesday after being identified by federal and local law enforcement officials. Las Vegas police say they have surveillance video and ballistic evidence tying Castellon to the deadly crime spree, but the real break in the case came from a tip provided by a person police called a viewer. The Department of Justice is creating a task force to study cybersecurity issues, including efforts to undermine U.S. elections, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced Tuesday. The Internet has given us amazing new tools that help us work, communicate, and participate in our economy, but these tools can also be exploited by criminals, terrorists, and enemy governments, he said. The announcement came less than a week after an indictment accusing 13 Russian nationals and three Russian organizations of using fake social media accounts to meddle in the last U.S. presidential election. And the TSA announced Tuesday that it set a weekly record by finding more than 100 firearms in carry-on bags. Between February 5th and 11th, officers found 104 firearms in carry-on bags at U.S. airports. That breaks the previous record of 97, which was set last July. The agency said that 87 of the 104 guns were loaded. TSA rules prohibit any guns, but especially loaded ones, in carry-on luggage. Also found in carry-on luggage during the record-setting week were two one-pound containers of gunpowder, a sword, and an inert shell from the Civil War. And now time for another look at your Wasatch Front weather, brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's top audiovisual specialists. The roads should be drier today, but take it easy on the gas pedal since patches of ice are still quite likely. Temperatures will remain cold through the weekend with a small chance of snowstorms on Friday and again on Sunday. Dress warmly and drive safely, Utah. That's it for now. For more news from across the nation and around the world, go to getpartdaily.com. Todd and Aaron, back to you. Thank you, my dear Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, you want the story? Um, I, I, yeah, of course I do. All right, so the story is um, a plane makes an emergency landing. We've all seen those fights Dubai break out. Dubai to Amsterdam. Now, that's a long freaking flight. It is. They so for fisticuffs to break out, there's issues. They went to Vienna. They had to land in Vienna and get people off the plane because there was fisticuffs, fisticuffs on the airplane. Tell them why. Usually, uh, there's a, an issue of... Someone maybe has a psychotic break or there's wildly S drunk, crazy drunk, people. crazy. Uh, yeah, someone sick. kicks your so, baby. Someone's or... sick. Someone's sick. You yeah. make emergency landing. Uh, well, in this case, uh, it was this guy, uh, these two Dutchmen uh, were on there, and they were complaining the guy who sat between them um, um, uh, was uh, breaking wind a lot. 
I think you can just say it. He was, the, the flight attendant report says he was farting maliciously. Maliciously. Meaning that they were like, he was passing gas, it was horrible. And the guy's like, dude, could you go to the bathroom? And he just looks and like, no. No, and then. And he literally, I guess he can fart on command or cue or whatever. He did anyway. He continued to do this and the people behind them are on going like, dude, go to the bathroom. You're killing us. This isn't right. And he's like, no, I'm not going anywhere. And continued. So I was like, that is like the weirdest thing. I mean, it's like, why would you do that even? First of all, impressive. Number two, don't do that. And apparently they had contacted the flight attendants. The flight attendants said, it's a full flight. There's nothing we can do. You're going to have to just live it. It wouldn't matter if you were in first class and he was at the back. It wouldn't matter. It's a closed air system. He's he's basically a weapon. He's a biological weapon of doom. So the fight started. I can't blame them. Punch, 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 punch. Call the cops. Land in Vienna. They are taken off the plane. No arrests were made. You didn't arrest the malicious farter. That what, seems what, what very... Would, what would you charge him with? Well, because it's still causing disruption on a plane, isn't and it? What, what, what would you... What, what was it? What's it called? Okay, you've smelled one of our son's farts. No, no, If, I don't, if that's no. not a weapon... Can if, you stop saying okay, that word? If that is not a weapon, then I don't know what is. Can you stop saying that word and bring our son into this? Thank you. No, actually, when he passes gas, he's your son. The story is now ruined. Coming up. Though. Really? It could get prettier? <laughs> I was going to handle it in a totally different way. <laughs> delicately. 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 My delicate husband was going to tiptoe gingerly around right. the unfortunate subject of the gaseous emissions. You got to work. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to give you the definition of being brave. And that is jumping into the water to save someone when you can't swim yourself. Coming up next. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night. And right now they have a $69 special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well. Just go to allutahplumbing.com. Still, it does not get old. Every time I look at that, that guy is just like... I mean, he had to have set a land speed record to get out of the way of that car. So, the camera's in the car, the looking at the accident. That's a highway patrol. This is UHP yesterday. Four of their cars got hit. Oh Actually, none of the troopers got hurt. But they always park themselves in the way so that if something like that happens, they how can... many how many tickets how many accidents was there yesterday? Four hundred fifty. Oh my gosh! All right, I want to take you to a story, another police story. Talking about putting yourself in danger. Um, oh, we're going to do this on the way out. Yeah, let's do okay, this. Okay, all right. Let me do the lawmaker first. Just all right, do the lawmaker first. All right, every state's got one. The crazy one. The crazy lawmaker. That when the crazy satellite flies over, all of a sudden their head starts shaking and they start screaming incom- incomprehensible things. We've right. had a few here. But this is my favorite. There was a Republican Idaho state senator. Um, that he was coming around the corner and there were a group of high school students. And uh-huh. they were there to talk about laws about contraception and safe sex. Uh, they're doing student activism. And I guess he completely lost it and started screaming things at them um, and uh, completely lost it. This is Senator Dan Foreman. He was eventually sort of like pulled away by Capitol Security. Now, you have to take a look at his Twitter account. I deleted my old account due to all the liberal outrage I was getting. Clearly, they can't handle the capital T truth. I was singing. And he puts up a flag that is, I believe it's Chile. I'm not sure. It's not an American flag. Oh, so yeah, well. can you put up the next one? Uh, so, that's, oh, so that's that's the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, the wrong flag. And then if you guys can put up, there's one more slide. If you got there, we go. This is crazy guy. I endeavor to bring my leadership and executive management ability to the ability to the district. And he goes, sorry for using the wrong country's flag in one of my tweets. And it, he just keeps going down. And he goes, my typing here is now fixed, and now my sen- my name is Senator Dan the Man. And it, it, you just keep going down through his tweets, and they just get crazier and, and crazier, crazier and crazier. Yeah. But he's American. So, he's so anyway, take that away students. From him. He's just crazy. All right, I'm going to take the story. I'm going to end the show with this. Okay. First of all, thanks for watching. Number two, here's the story. Um, 
there's someone in the water. There's some, just picture this. There's someone in the water. You're a policeman. Um, uh, this gentleman's name is Muhammad Nadim, and he uh, is an officer, and he can't swim. Now, imagine that he still has his belt on with his gun and all that equipment, about 35 pounds, 30 pounds. And this guy decides he can't swim, but guess what he's going to do? He's going to go in the water. So we're going to say thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow morning. This is Courage.